Welcome to episode 11 of J2Z, where we play every champion in alphabetical order. Today, we're playing Aurelian Soul. Anyways, we're going to do a little quick up-to-date guide and crash course. So what has changed with Aurelian Soul? Here's W. Now it spins really fast when you activate it, but only lasts three seconds and then it auto deactivates. The other thing is that his E no longer gives move speed, but you can activate it whenever you like, as long as you're out of combat or after four seconds of not taking damage. So on to tips and tricks. So you can use Q plus R at the same time, but Q before R, and then you're always max range hit with Q. The other thing is you can cancel Q early. For those that don't play Aurelian Soul, you would like to know that you can actually cancel Q really early, as early as you like, so they could be jumping on top of you and you can Q them. The other thing is in order to maximize your DPS, around your target you want to circle clockwise around your target to maximize DPS and counterclockwise if you're CSing on a tower let's say to do less damage or slow down your damage. The other thing about Aurelian Soul is you A move and then you'll go really close into melee, almost melee range just so that your inner circle hits but then when you expand your circle it does max range auto attacks if you A left click. So those are all the neat little tips and tricks I have for you guys against melee matchups you generally want to start Q, but Talon does have quite a bit of range on his W, so I'm not too sure. But I think I'm going to start Q anyway. So let's do that. Also, Talon's very scary, so I'll definitely need to stock up on some armor. Maybe a Seeker is this game. Or maybe I'll just go Rylize, and then I'll just have Ninja Tabbies. Like, that's also an option. If I go Ninja Tabbies into Rylize, I think I'll be good to go. These guys aren't too scary. Like, Rumbles, just damage, and also... Brand is damaged, but uh, the other have more bursts, I feel. So we're just trying to poke out Talon while we can. Because if it goes any later, he'll get level 2 and then it'll be pretty scary. So we want to make sure we hit level 2 first. Ooh, I got 2 hits. He will want to Q me, but that's why I'm walking back. So that he can't Q me. His damage is when he gets 2 rakes off and a Q. Then he can ignite me and do a ton of damage. So I need to be careful, um, otherwise we'll just get a ward and hug top side I guess. Just choose a side and hug it. Just make sure that the side you're picking to hug um, is warded so that you don't just hug into an unfortunate situation. Okay, because he's, it's kind of scary you know, Talon is very scary so I want to respect that a little bit just let it push in there's no rush right now I'm ahead in terms of resources let's get some CS there just don't want to get cheesed so I am thinking because Talon's like a very scary matchup I might have to go tabbies. Oh, he just used his abilities. I had to go in there because he used his Q. So pop a potion here. Oh, nice. Okay, we pushed it in. Let's go back. So I think what I'm gonna do is buy Dark Seal, Cloth Armor. and boots. So we're working towards tabbies as well. Just because Talon can one shot us if we're not careful. And then we just fly back to lane so we miss no CS at all while Talon missed a wave. Let's 
It's really hard to see us under tower. I'm actually doing a good job here. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Ah, uh, 5 out of 6. Not bad. Not bad at all. Talon might have warded there. So, just pinging. Because there's a very high chance he warded there. I have to wait for him to use abilities before I can walk up now, since he has all-in potential. So, just give him an auto while his W is still on cooldown. Hey, poke him out, back off. Potentially, I can gank this. Alright, nice. We got that roam off. Beauty. Alright, maybe our jungler can hold, and then we'll just head back. So, this game's a bit special. We're up against Talon. I'm just going to buy Tabbies. Just warning my team. Should be fine. They're anticipating it. Nice. I think my warning did help. Oh, Ezreal died to bleed. Ezreal bled out. Oh! Alright, well, we get a tower plating here. Okay, Talon's back. Maybe I can roam top now. Mm, it's gonna be pretty difficult, actually. I'm not confident in diving him. Because that rumble is basically full health. Alright, we're going back to bot. Wow, no Zillion ult. He didn't ult anybody. He legit altered nobody. What the heck? He's trolling. Alright, well, at least we're roaming really well. So that's good. Also, just so you guys know, Riot is going to be taking this account back, which is really unfortunate. So I have to have a replacement account for this. But we'll see what we can do. So the match history is no longer of an issue or consequence I'm not going to be talking about it much until I get the new account so just a little heads up oh, I can head down
So is he gonna get W? Okay. Just lay a little bit of damage into him. Because he used his W, so he can't really retaliate properly. Unless he just ults me and presses Q. But I don't think that'll do enough damage since I'm running tabbies. Okay, sweet. We got his ult out. That's really, really good. That means we're actually pressuring him so much. For a Talon to do that, it's really good for us. Okay, Hecarim is bot. See, Rumble's full health. I think my best bet is just to go bot lane because bot lane's been pushed up, so it's like easy ganks. And when they're not pushed up, they're low. Okay, sweet. We got that CS. Oh, by the way, with Aurelian Soul, there's no shortcuts to learning him. You just have to get used to his W. It's not easy, but you just have to get used to it. Flying over. Okay. Righto. Set's teleporting, so we're just going to go mid now. We get Rylai's here as well. Pick up another pink ward, why not? And then we're looking to go mid. And potentially just keep roaming. We just want to get our side lanes to win. That is Aurelian Soul specialty. At the moment, we're actually quite tanky. We're 15, 1600 health with tabbies. And I have 10 stack Dark Seal. So, potentially, if I don't die anymore, or at all, then I could look for Magi's. This could be a Magi's game against the Scary Talon. Oh, bot lane. That's unfortunate. Couldn't quite do anything there because Hecarim stopped us. If I was to jump in all the way over here, then I get collapsed on by three people and the best I could do is just kill Draven. So it'll be very awkward for me. Okay. Oh man. All right, I can't do a long trade because once he gets out of that stun, he could potentially go for an all-in. I don't know his cooldowns. I just know they're very short. Okay, time to go bot again. Alright, I got it. Ooh. I got a kill. But unfortunately, Ezreal died in the process. Oh, 
Oh wow, there's a talent here as well. Okay. Oh, maybe? Nice! Oh... That move speed that Draven has is insane though. Okay, so we're 5-1. Unfortunately, we are going to take a lot of damage at bot tower, but it's not going to go down, so that's really good. We still have a chance to get this mid tower, or top tower. I'll see, I have to look for another roam opportunity, but it's looking pretty rough at the moment. Like, anything goes, so we have to put in the hard work. Like, so far I've just been going bot a lot. Right, it hasn't seemed to be going too well since our ADC is super weak. He's 2 and 5. Even though I'm constantly ganking bot. And his CS is very low, that's the biggest worry. I don't mind his score as long as his CS is good. Oh wow, um, bot lane just died again. Okay, oh, I watered them off. We saved Nocturne at least. Heading in. Alright, nice. We got them off Dragon. That's pretty good. That talent's scary. I'm gonna go around. Nice, we've caught him. Got that stun on the Draven. Means he dies. I'm gonna push this out. I'm so close to my Leandries. I might just push out one more wave. Let's try to get this tower. There's the first blood tower. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna fly away. There's a brand over there as well. I can't just go and stun. But it was worth a try. So now I'm going to go for Leandries. Head to mid and hopefully take down mid tower. We need FB tower. I'm gonna go down there so that we can defend. Nocturne has ult. Uh, that should be a dead Draven. Yep. Okay, sweet. I just made sure that Ezreal didn't die for free. So I went on the Draven. And now I go mid to prevent the tower from dying. Uh, unfortunately, we lost tower. Damn. Okay, it's not first blood tower anymore. 
We are very strong at the moment since we have our core, which is Leandris and Rylice. Oh, I got him. Actually killed the Talon in that stun. Or two stuns, rather. So, just have to keep pushing out mid. Another kill. Okay, I'm actually inclined to go for Magi's because we're actually doing so well. So that and a stopwatch. So this stopwatch will prevent me from turbo griefing if I press. Oh wow, okay, I did not see that Hecarim came out of nowhere. Wait, that Ezreal's AFK. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I actually, I actually used the stopwatch properly. That's so funny. See, I, I didn't turbo grief because of the, the little thingo. Okay, so now we have our 25 stack magis. I still need to stay mid-ish. Need Baron Vision. Defending yourself, a thoroughly futile. Oh, I got him stunned. Wait, what? How did he survive that? Did you guys see that? He was on like zero health and he survived. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, Hecarim. Hecarim has flash? Don't see that every day. Whoa, I chunked him out pretty hard. By the way, we don't need blue buff because we have presence of mind, but they don't know that. Oh, okay. Should I pretend to be mad? Wait, wait, you hit. Ah, this Nocturne's trolling. Oh my, maybe I should have been there. We're gonna finish off this tower. Oh, my ult's coming up in five. Uh oh. Damn, there's a lot. I was hoping to stay around because my ult was gonna finish him off. But that hurts a lot because we lost 10 stacks. I think I can go top and just kill this rumble really easily. We're so strong right now. 
And then final item, I can probably go Death Cap because they don't have any MR. Here's ult. Nice. Perfect. Unfortunately, it's a 4v5. I think Ezreal just AFK'd on us. I mean, there is a, still a chance we can win a 4v5. It's just going to be really hard. We actually have to hard carry. to the other side but we still got him because of Brawly's ult whoa I killed the Hecarim I'm so low though. But we gave Broly some time at top lane, so that's pretty good. I'm back to 25 stacks, Magi's. Oh my. Let's just get out of here. Nice, that works. Okay, so we're gonna pick up some farm, maybe at Wraith Camp or something. Our farm's falling behind, but at the same time, once we get full build, it doesn't really matter. We need to end quick. Oh my god, I did so much damage to him. It's actually nasty. He just got ran over. Alright, we just annihilated them. Holy moly. Where's the Hecarim? I think the Hecarim just respawned. So Ezreal's still AFK, but we're actually hard carrying this. It's really good. I'm hitting harder than Broly. Look at my hits. Well, I can drop a ward while flying, by the way. And also, I'm full health. I didn't even realize I healed that much. A red buff OP at late game. Okay, 
nice. So now we go for death cap, and then we repot again. Ooh, instant wave clear on that, on that camp. Also, when your W ends, you get a little bit of move speed. It's very minor, but it's there. Oh, nice. Okay. So three seconds out, and then three seconds in. Just like that. And three seconds out, and then back in. Just maximum damage. There we go. Back away a bit. He's dead. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. We won the 4v5. Four V5, there we go. Holy look at my damage on that tower. Yeah, they never stood a chance. Aurelian saw OP. Our ADC is yours. We have no ADC. <laughs> no, but Draven was actually doing well. I think Aurelian saw once he gets ahead, is just so OP. So we managed to get the 4v5 in. Managed to get the win. And I think very soon, Riot's going to deactivate this account. And we'll just be provided a new Riot account. So... Who knows what the name will be. But yeah, definitely give the honor to Nocturne. He did his part, I did my part. So as long as two people are doing well, we can win in a 4v5 situation if the enemy is kind of potato. So look at that damage. Holy holy, that feels good. Aurelian Soul is so satisfying to play, guys. I strongly recommend it. I even played him on stream where it was like 30 minutes, I had 320 CS or something like that. I was ahead of the curve. So I was CSing well. But in this game, I don't know why I'm not CSing as well, so it feels kind of bad. I'm inconsistent with my CS, but it definitely takes a bit of a learning curve. Also, this is placed in bronze, but the people are still plat and gold. It's just that I had a really bad loss streak in my placements, and you, I told you guys about it, so there's that. Anyways, GG well played. Next one will be Azir. Um, might take a little bit of time to learn him, but I'll do my best. So I will be streaming while learning, and that will be on twitch.tv slash jcstream. So hopefully I'll see you guys all there. Be sure to drop a follow there so you guys will know when I stream. Also, my stream schedule is constantly changing. So if you want to know my stream schedule, just go on my Discord. And then you have to type dash agree on the verification page because we got raided by bots that time. So after that, you'll see under announcements, that's where I post my stream schedule. So I'll see you guys all in the next one. Cheers.